The trailer for Dune, the prophecy has finally been released. In the past few hours, the first preview of what will be the series of Dune, the prophecy has been released, a series that takes place 10,000 years before the Dune movies, which will explain the origin of the prophecy of the Messiah in this universe. In this video, we will be talking about this new series, the secrets hidden in this teaser, how it connects to Paul's story, and what we could expect from this series. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Before starting with this video, I invite you to participate in our Planet of the Apes giveaway, where we will be awarding the Funko Pop of the Apes Liberator Caesar, along with the trilogy of this great character. So if you want to participate, you just have to subscribe to this channel and comment on which is your favorite character from the Planet of the Apes universe and why the winner will be announced on May 27th. One of the most exciting surprises this week was the announcement of this series, the first spin-off in the Dune universe, which is directly connected to the stories of the movies. In the Dune universe, the Bene Gesserit are an order of women with extraordinary abilities. They exert a secret influence over both politics and religion. The new series, Dune, The Prophecy, reveals the origins of this mysterious sisterhood, led by the Harkonnen sisters, played by Emily Watson and Olivia Williams. But what makes this series so special? To understand the upcoming Dune movie, Messiah, we must first learn about the origin of this Messiah and the origin of the prophecy. The series Dune, The Prophecy, is set 10,000 years before the events of Frank Herbert's original novel, at a time when the roots of this powerful order were just emerging. The Bene Gesserit originated after the Butlerian Jihad, a rebellion against the thinking machines, which led to the banning of artificial intelligence that we have talked about in previous videos. The fact that this series is closer to the events of the war against the machines is something that has a lot of potential, because we could learn more about what happened in this era of humanity, and the reason why artificial intelligences were so feared. The Bene Gesserit were formed as a mental and physical training school, mainly for women, with the goal of obtaining superhuman abilities and controlling human evolution. Sisters Valya and Tula Harkonnen, played by Emily Watson and Olivia Williams, are the protagonists of this story. They lead the first steps of the Bene Gesserit, confronting the forces that threaten the future of humanity and laying the foundations of what will become one of the most influential sects in the universe. The teaser begins by introducing scenes of what appears to be an all-female funeral. They are all standing around a body dressed in white, while Valya is heard commenting that the sisterhood was created to help the different houses to differentiate lies from truth. What happens is that since technology is forbidden, thanks to the war that happened against artificial intelligence, now humans depend on other humans with special abilities to do things that computers did before. For example, there are humans specialized in mathematics, logic, languages, and other fields. In the case of this sisterhood, they are experts in deciphering lies. So they were very useful to these families. But as the trailer says, they created a network of influence in all the powerful houses. And little by little, they began to change the course of humanity. Although the important houses of the humans thought that this sisterhood was a useful instrument for them, they were unaware that from the shadows, they were manipulating the events for the arrival of their own messiah, Paul, whom we later see in the Dune movies. This trailer is showing different houses, and we could say that it has similar elements to the Dune movies and the Game of Thrones series, as it will be focused on a more political aspect of the story. We can hear Valya mention that nothing would be more important than a sister sitting on the throne. The goal of this sisterhood is to infiltrate among the most important houses in the universe, to then acquire absolute power. This political manipulation is shown in the trailer, where we see one of the sisters getting married, and part of the combat training they are subjected to. The trailer features scenes of intense physical and mental training, revealing how the Bene Gesserit developed their superhuman abilities. From their ability to manipulate politics, to their mastery of the mind and body. 
we can hear one of the members of this sisterhood named Theodosia saying that they are playing God. This is directly connected to Paul's birth. The political manipulation and influence of the Bene Gesserit on the powerful houses not only allowed them to accumulate power, but also to pave the way for the arrival of their Quisatz Haderach, better known as Paul Atreides. The Bene Gesserit carried out a complex breeding program to produce the Quisatz Haderach, the being who would have prescient abilities and could be in multiple places at the same time. This program involves strategic marriages between powerful families to perfect the necessary genetics. While on one hand, this sisterhood genetically selected the humans who would bring the Messiah into the world, they also created prophecies and religions to prepare the world for his arrival. Taking advantage of local faiths and religions, the Bene Gesserit managed to infiltrate the power structures of different cultures. By portraying themselves as religious or prophetic figures, they gained influence and control over political and social decisions. This allowed them to manipulate events and to direct the course of history in favor of their own objectives. The prophecies disseminated by the Bene Gesserit described a savior who would arrive to lead the people into a new era. This being, the Kwisatz Haderach, was presented as a savior and a spiritual guide. When Paul Atreides appeared in the story as this messiah, many cultures were already predisposed to accept and follow him, facilitating his rise to power. This is what Theodosia refers to in the preview. They are playing God because they are thinking about manipulating genetics, and politically speaking they seek to manipulate humanity for the arrival of a supposed messiah who will advance their obscure agendas. Also we can see in the trailer different scenarios that lead us to think that they are different planets. In some scenes we can see desert scenarios and others with ice. I believe the style of this series will be a Game of Thrones style political drama where we will see the power struggle for the throne of an empire but it will differ from Game of Thrones because it will not be focused on a prophecy as the prince that was promised but rather it will be the creation of a false prophecy to manipulate humanity through the influence of this sisterhood in this empire. The preview concludes with one of the sisters sitting on the throne of this empire in the attire of her sisterhood. I think one of the aspects that strikes me the most about this series is to know the reason why this sisterhood saw the arrival of a messiah as necessary. Perhaps we might even have clues as to what happened to planet Earth and what happened in the battle against the artificial intelligences. Without a doubt, this series looks very interesting and we will be keeping an eye out for all the previews and news as we will be covering the entire series on this channel. This series will premiere this year and it doesn't have a specific date yet, but it is believed that it will have six episodes. But tell me, what do you think of this teaser? Are you curious to know how the prophecy of the Messiah of Dune was created? Do you want to see the political aspect of this universe? Let me know what you think in the comments. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on. The Oasis Geek